Hi, and welcome to Arboriculture at Malton College. Today, the presentation is going to be given to you by David Ross. Now, before joining Malton College, David spent 12 years as a utility arborist, working on many electrical networks and highways contracts. David, pictured left, tutored with Marco Kelly, right, and has worked with many professionals within the industry, learning from them and applying this experience in dealing with clients and mentoring his fellow colleagues. Now, reasons to choose a career in arboriculture. Now, arboriculture itself covers a large range of skills and different jobs. Some of these jobs will be covered in a later slide. Um, they contribute to the economy, approximately 709 million per annum, and that's not including other areas such as forestry and landscaping. You learn about the trees and the science of them and their uses. Now, this can go from the basic biology of them. It also goes through to woodland management and the management of um, the areas where they can be used for amenity, such as around towns and cities. You work within the great outdoors and it provides great health benefits as well. We all know it, we all love it. Fresh air, greenery, and you also get to have wide open spaces. You gain confidence and experience. This is when you work within the teams and alongside other professionals. Working in the teams, this will help you to act socially, it will help you learn from people with um, a wider experience and length of service. And it also allows you to grow as an individual yourself. Uh, Working alongside other related organisations. These can be councils, they can be um, utility companies such as uh, the power lines. So you get utility arborists. You also work alongside the general public. And other organisations such as, um, say, the Forestry Commission and just to pull another one out, UPM Till Hill, which operates up in the northern part of the United Kingdom. Be a part of a large like-minded community. The industry itself is large. You have tree surgeons, you have landscape management, you have forestry. You then go into the people that develop the equipment and sell them. So you have a vast myriad number of people that are here to develop yourself, such as assessors and stuff like that, and training providers like us, and also to out in the wider community that has people that sell kits such as chippers, mobile elevated work platforms, chainsaws, that sort of thing. And it's an, also an ever-growing industry. And the main contributing factor of that is new people, new blood, coming in by yourselves, learning the course, and then going on out into the industry itself. Career opportunities, as stated in the previous slide, some of these are as follows. You have tree surgeons, the most common ones that you normally see out on the ground. These are the ones that will come around to people's houses, trees in the gardens, um, such as pruning, hedge trimming, that sort of thing. Contracts managers, these are those guys that you'll get within, so like um, forestry commissions, they run the um, jobs, projects themselves. They also have a wider range of abilities such as dealing and liaising with so like um the fo other forestry organizations such as the arboriculture association the um, councils and also national england and uh, national trust the tree surveyor these guys they go out they look at the trees they determine whether or not they have they're healthy they have diseases themselves and they will deal with them clients and a cultural consultant these people these are the ones that will go to other organizations and 
again, provide a management plan of certain areas that are required, requested, or even um, going into um, certain things such as colleges and, and so forth. These normally you'd find in councils and park ranges. They, again, they maintain the aesthetic side of the trees, such as amenity value, and also take, for example, country parks. They go down that route of maintaining um, the safety aspect of them. Independent trainers. These are the guys that will take you through short courses, such as your chainsaw maintenance, your uh, cross cutting, and also going forth all through all the different. Um, qualifications that you can get um, as a physical training package. Practical assessor, these guys are the ones that once the independent trainer has um, taught you, they will come in and assess you. A forester, self-explanatory, these guys work within the forests, they do the logging, they do um, the maintenance of it, they also cover the wide areas of replantation. Now, why study at Moulton College? Moulton itself has 1,200 acres of woodland, a vast amount. We have large specimen trees and ornamental shrubs. These are located around the college campus itself and also within the actual acreage on the land. Specialist workshops for machinery and maintenance. We have an arboricultural workshop where we operate from. This allows you to maintain your chainsaws, hold climbing equipment and so forth like that. We also train using a selection of equipment. As I've stated in the workshops where we um, maintain it, we also use brushwood chippers, chainsaws and mobile elevated work platforms. You learn the science of trees and their benefits. This is where you form the knowledge of them, whether it be the soil science, the trees themselves, where to use them and how they can benefit the wider um, public and also going into how to develop um, your practical skills in maintaining them as well. Developing your core skills for working in industry. Now this covers your maths, your English, your IT skills and also your ability to be employable such as being punctual, being communicative and making sure that you can see things in a way that the employer and also the client will benefit from. You also have knowledgeable lecturers to learn from. Like myself and Mark, we've come from the industry itself. We know the processes that go into it. And also that is where we try and implement onto yourselves, students and learners. Um, there are also other lecturers going from the agricultural side and the horticultural side that can also use crossover knowledge to your benefit. Now, the study program to launch your career in arboriculture. Now, as you can see from the flow diagram, the basis of it is your level one. Now, this is, as it stated there, the Woodland and the State Skills. This is an introductory format, and you go through a vast array of learning materials with an introduction into what you would use within arboriculture. Your level two diploma in forestry and arboriculture, this is a one year course as stated and introduces you to all the basic elements of what our course would entail and what you would use out in the big wide world. Now your level three extended diploma in arboriculture, this is a two year study program. Now this will cover everything that you need to go out there and to put into place for an employer to give you that job. What will you learn? The curriculum itself covers theory from tree identification all the way through to pests and diseases. Practical use of cane tools and climbing. This is self-explanatory in the use of learning how to maintain them, operate them and using them. And also when you go into the climbing aspect of it, it is the health and safety side from getting up into the tree, doing it properly, making sure that yourself and those people on the ground are going to be able to go home that same day. Level one, 
This introduces all of the learners, as I've stated before, to your core vocational elements. This then moves on to your level two, which is the foundation knowledge. This is what you would then move on to into the level three, so you can take a more in-depth look and use it to apply in real-time engagements and go out and get a job. All these study programs include maths and English. If you do not already have these at GCSE grade four, C or above. Now work placements. Previous students on our level three extended course named here such as Nick and George, they completed their work at Weldon Forestry and HTC Arbor Services Limited. Now work placements themselves are within the first year of the level two or your level three diplomas. These are core skills that develop within yourself to gain industry experience. Students are encouraged to find their own work placements and if they do struggle, we will be there to support them and use our contacts within the local industry to allow them to get those work placements and the experience. Additional costs of the course. Now, personal protective equipment can be purchased via our recommended supplier um, at a student discount rate. Um, otherwise, other specific PPE such as coveralls and equipment are provided by the college, but we do have a limited supply. So if you do want to buy your own PPE, that is beneficial for when you do your work placement because you will not be able to take your other um, PPE that the college provides away with you. Now, if you need to, please contact us in advance and we can give you the relevant details to go out and hopefully assist you in getting the right deals without breaking the bank. Students outside of the college, these are to enrich the learning experience that students may need and sometimes additional costs may be needed by the students. A typical timetable. Now students on the study programmes will normally spend roughly three days per week at college. Now the practical lessons themselves, they will roughly cover six hours spread out throughout the day. Theory lessons, these cover six to eight hours, and this may include your maths and English um, subjects to help you out in the course. This is a full time course and will also include one day for work placement, as stated previously, and also one day for your home studies. Now, this course is primarily for students wishing to go straight into employment um, or as a entry level to continue their studies into university and so forth like that. Moulton College itself has grounds that can provide a wealth of outdoor training environments. As I've stated, we've got 1,200 acres of it. And there will be trips off site for practical training and enrichment. Potential for college climbing for some students. Um, these can be via the Arboricultural Association. Um, so if we have climbers or natural climbers from the students, we can put these forward to an inter-college climbing championship. Your questions in the chat box opposite, and we will do our best to answer them. 